What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, this is a video breaking down a crash. So let's break down how the crash happened. In this video, you see David riding right in front of me. Um, and let's just imagine that that's me right in front of me. Let me pause the video right here. Now when I come out of turn two, the bike wheelied right here. When the front wheel finally landed, it was turned a little bit away from the direction it was actually going. This is when I got a massive tank slapper, which I thought I could save, but ultimately I couldn't and it threw me off to the right side of the bike. And that's when I slid for a good 100 feet The whole time I was sliding, I was feeling a lot of heat in my arms. There is no fire! So when I came in, when I took my suit off, I realized that I had a good, you know, skin burn right here. The skin had come off and then over here as well, a good bit of the skin had come off. But it only happened because the suit tore all the way through it and some of the stretch panels. So after I rolled the bike back in after the crash, I went to go see the medics to get my wounds patched up. At the same time, David took the initiative to go ahead and start fixing my bike and replace one of the pegs with his own peg. So I duct taped the suit in some sections because one of the zippers had come off and then I went to ride the next session. So here's my opinion on what you should do after a crash. First off, make sure that you and the bike are okay, obviously, right? That's the first thing you wanna make sure. After that, get back out and ride as soon as possible. Why? In my opinion, if you let that crash sit too long on your mind, you're gonna have all the time to think about the possibilities that could have happened that puts more fear in a rider's mind. Also, going out and riding, even at a much slower pace, is a great way to get the crash out of your system. So pretty much what this crash showed me was that I'm on a new bike with new horsepower, a good amount more than what I had. It's just getting the front wheel light so I need to go back to the drawing board. I need to work on being smoother during the transitions with my body and the throttle input so that way I can allow the bike to settle better when I'm transitioning. Based off of some suggestions I'm also going to add some wheel weights between the steering stop. This will allow the bars to stop sooner during a tank slapper and also it'll give a little cushion if they do start to tank slap. Sometimes you have to slow down to get faster in this sport. I'm going back to tally in a few weeks and hopefully I can get some good testing to learn some these fundamental things that I might have been skipping on. Hopefully this helped you guys in a little bit, maybe gave you an insight as to what I went through with the crash, and hopefully this might help you in the future with overcoming a crash as well. If you guys enjoyed this breakdown, please like and subscribe. A lot of you guys watching are not subscribed yet, so please help the channel by just subscribing. It's free, and all it takes is a click. I'm going to try to drop some more content in the next few weeks. Until then, see you guys in the next one.